It's still March, but advocates, groups, and parents across the country are getting ready for Autism Awareness Month. Autism in Classrooms is one group that is gearing up. Here to talk about what it plans to do by the end of this year, we welcome founder Jeanette Magaro. Um, let's talk about autism. What is Autism in Classrooms? Sure. So um, it's a nonprofit startup that I created to take my book, uh, My Life with Gary, and put it in classrooms throughout the country because here in the U.S. we have uh, the largest cases of autism in the world, right? Um, and the goal is really to put these books in the classrooms and kind of educate children on what autism looks like and kind of change the culture, you know, um, provide awareness and change the culture, you know, so that there is not the negative stigma that we have today. And your advocacy really began with being an advocate for your son. Mm -hmm. um, tell us about your son and tell me about the diagnosis. Sure, so, um, you know, I, I saw some differences in my son when he was uh, little and we went through, um, oh, there's Luciano. So, <laughs> um, you know, it, it was quite a storm of getting him proper care and he was finally diagnosed at 10, which is rather late. Wow, they, yes. Yeah, and then, you know, I noticed when I started telling people um, there was just really a negative stigma and per people really didn't understand what autism was. And it's due to the fact that there's just not enough education. So I wanna change that. Very good. So you and um, your son worked on this book together. Of course, he's not Gary. Um, <laughs> so explain, explain what this, how this book was written, what the title means. Sure. So this book was written, it's called My Life with Gary because um, Gary is the part of his brain that he understands works a little bit differently. So he does understand he's autistic. He understands that he sees the world differently and the counselors had him name that part of his brain. So it's a very basic read from when he wakes up in the morning to when he goes to sleep and how his world is just slightly different than yours and mine. So I know your goal is really to get this into as many hands as you can. And by the end of this year, you want to do something pretty big in Cumberland County. Yeah, so um, we've been working with Leadership Cumberland. They've been instrumental in working with the school districts and we have a goal of uh, putting this book in all the public schools within Cumberland County and it's a number of something like 2020 books, right? Wow, wow. Yeah. And is, do you think it's good for parents and children to look at? Oh yeah, absolutely. People our age read it because they really don't get it and it's such a quick read and once they read it, they're like, now I get it. That's interesting because I think mm -hmm. if you're not impacted directly with autism, you really don't understand. I've asked so many questions sure. about it over the years on the show, but it's tough for me to really understand sure. what that absolutely. is like for a family. Yeah. Um, is there any way viewers can support what you're doing or keep up to date with what you're doing? Sure. So, um, you know, we had to postpone our event this week, which was really going to help fund that. So that's that's very unfortunate. Um, if they can go to autisminclassrooms.org and they can make a donation. Very good. And that was going to be the Shamrock what was it called? The Shamrock Shamrock Sh Showdown. Oh, Showdown. Okay. Yes. Which would be so much fun, but you're hoping to do it in October now. Yeah. So we're rescheduling it to Saturday, October 3rd. And I think we're going to do like a zombie apocalypse. <laughs> uh, to commemorate these, these happy yeah. days, right? Yeah. Well, thank you for being with us today. Thanks we appreciate for everything me. you're doing for your son and for the whole community, really. Thank you. Um, well, there's more Good Day PA on the way, so we'll be right back.